Hey everybody, uh, recently I have received a few comments asking me uh, to demonstrate, to show how I uh, connect the car to the, um, to the trailer. And that's what I'm gonna do just now. Let me show you. Uh, let's uh, get out all the equipment first, necessary. First of all, I've got the heavy hitch. Now we're gonna attach here to the car. And we've got this pin. Okay, now I'm just gonna, actually first, <laughs> let me get all this stuff out of the way. Because we've got So I've got uh, this security device so somebody cannot just uh, show up and take our trailer away. So it's a lock for the hitch. Next. Okay, so I had forgotten one major step. I forgot to reconnect my battery, which I disconnect usually when I'm not gonna use the, the trailer for more than a week, so you know, so it doesn't drain. And I had forgotten to raise my leveling jacks, very important. Raise your leveling jacks before you do this. We're gonna raise um, the tongue jack now, so it's at the same level as uh, my ball hitch, my hitch ball, whatever you call it. <laughs> okay, I think that's high enough. Now let's back up the car. Okay, now we're gonna lower. Hold on. There, pull this first and then, and there it is, it is locked. Now let me take out all the equipment that we're gonna need for the next step. First of all, let's secure our hitch with this screw right here. So the tongue and the ball are locked in together. And let me take out all this equipment that we have here. This is all part of the, uh, the weight distribution system, which I'm gonna explain now what it does. And might as well take out our my anti-sway bar. And a bunch of these little pins. There should be six in total. And I'm gonna put them up here for now. Whew. It's Miami, summer. I'm sweating profusely. It's like 100 degrees, 90% humidity. This is insane. But first of all, we're gonna Raise this again. And the purpose of the weight distribution system is so the weight of the RV is distributed evenly among the four wheels of the car. So in reality, it does something like this. So it pushes the back of the car up. So you get some weight also on the front tires of the car. That's the way I understand it. Anyways, so first of all, there and now depending on your RV you're gonna put it in a, in a different link mine it's on the third and I forgot one very important piece of equipment this bar so so you can see one two three leave three links out and then lift boom and now 
insert the pin. Now we come to the other side. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And this is tricky sometimes. There we go. One, two, three. Boom, and insert the pin. Now we lower. Now let's do our, um, let's wait until it finishes. That's it. If we were to really depart now, I would raise the, the jack all the way up, but we're not gonna, I'm just gonna demonstrate to you this. So we're not gonna do that part. Now our seven pin connector, we connect. Very important, because otherwise your lights don't light up, your brakes don't function on the trailer. Now, this, uh, this uh, steel cable is very important that you attach it here. What's the purpose of this steel cable? Let me do that. Let me attach this chain first. But if by any chance this fails, the chains fail, and your trailer <laughs> is by itself somewhere in the middle of the road, when this uh, detaches, it activates the brakes on the trailer. So the brake will stop. I mean, the trailer will stop eventually and won't be hitting any other vehicles on the highway. And now we attach the other chain. And we're good to go. Well, one more thing. Last but not least, our trusty sway control bar. And the purpose of this item is so your RV won't sway. Like if you happen to be going too fast or it's windy conditions, you won't start doing this, which could be fatal. And um, here we go. Hi. There's one pin here and one pin here. And we're good to go. Now let's now let's do it all over again and detach the RV from the car. Okay, let's say we arrived at the campground and we are going to leave the RV and uh, detach the car. First of all, if you're gonna back up, first detach. Yeah, there's a plane going, but I don't think <laughs> Uh, first of all, detach the anti-sway bar, the sway control bar, because if you happen to reverse and you, um, well, you could break it, in other words. So, let's remove this first. And we put it here in our basement. Now, we're gonna remove the uh, uh, weight distribution system. So the first thing we do, we're gonna raise the front of the RV. By the way, you can, you can remove the chains or the power before or after, it doesn't really matter in this case. And then what we want to do is, we raise it until this becomes somewhat loose, like there. That's pretty good. And then we remove our pin. And you should do it from this side always, just in case there's some pressure built up and, and you don't hit your leg. And just lower it like this. And then bring it to the front and you put it in here. Now we do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna remove the pin and lower it and bring it to the front and it comes off relatively easy. Easy peasy. And now, well, we don't need this anymore, so let me put it in here. And now, we're gonna lower our tongue jack, our electric jack. I'm so glad I got an electric jack, otherwise I will be sweating twice as much as I am sweating right now. We're gonna lower this and that's it. Pull it up until it detaches.
Boom, beautiful. Now, unplug your power. Unhook your chains. And uh, remove the car and lower it and pretty much that's it. Um, it really looks uh, harder than it really is. Uh, the first couple of times it was uh, like a real good, really good ordeal. Luckily I had uh, taken video of the guy uh, who, not the guy who sold us the RV, but the guy who gave us, gave us the orientation. So um, we, we, we watched that video a couple of times so we knew what to do. Well, that's it. Now you know how to uh, attach and detach the trailer from the car. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Bye now. Oh, one more thing. When you go to the campground, before you bring it down, you have a level with you all the time. And then, I don't know if this is the best part to put it, but make sure you level it. That's all folks, uh, do remember to subscribe and if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and share with your friends and comment below. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, uh, so follow me there too if you will and visit the blog at roadnomad.com, join the mailing list. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. I'm riding, riding with my RV. Wherever I want to be Because I'm free In my RV Yeah, I'm riding Riding, riding Riding with my RV My RV Wherever I want to be Because I'm free In my RV